I didn't check out all the updates as this thing went on. So he had the video where he gets a contract violation. Someone said that she did not get her food. He goes in, makes a big confrontation. I think I have the video, but I scaled it down to a minute. Is there another day, another customer lying about receiving their food? Excuse me, is Chris still on the clock? Who? Chris K. There she is. Hello. So you didn't get the DoorDash order? You didn't get the DoorDash order from earlier? And I have no idea what you're talking about. I, what she, you she even okay. saw you with the what food. Okay. You guys have cameras here. You said the order never arrived. What do you mean? Oh, why does it say that the customer says the order never arrived? Like, were you just trying to get free food and put my job on the line? Okay, well, we're, we got to figure something out because it says that the customer says the order never arrived and I got a contract violation. Gotcha. I'm an independent contractor, yeah, it's way so that puts my job at risk. So we're going to have to call DoorDash support off your phone because I wasn't. Okay. Well, that, that, that's, that, it'll go back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. she looks, she got caught. She got caught. I, I, we all had that look. I think I'm, I was thinking about making a video of seeing, like getting all the confrontation videos and putting them all mm. together and just there's try some, that. There's a, there's a lot of them. Yeah, there's a lot. I could make a documentary of like the look of someone who got caught doing something wrong. You should totally been there, do that. You should. Do, right? I mean, if you don't, I'm going to do it. So you should just. Well, the, yeah, when a, woman, when, a, when a woman hits you with, I saw this text message on your phone. You're like, you got your hands in the pocket. You're like, shit. Uh, <laughs> Listen, shout out to Bobby. He says, Lisa. So I made a reaction video to that on the other channel, and I called her Lisa because I didn't know her name because she looks like a Lisa to me. Shout out to Bobby. <laughs> Lisa. Lisa. She looks like a Lisa. I hate her. I can't stand how she looks. Anyway. So go and we're going to bring we're bringing up, a, we're going to bring down some elements of the reaction and is there room for redemption? Mm. Um, apparently, Chris is not her name. I think it's her man's name. Yeah, that it got confused. So we don't even know her name, which I guess that's helpful for a moment. But we have more updates to the situation. Um, he dropped another video about what happened. This is one a little long. It's about two and a half minutes. I'll cut it off if if it's it gets to the, get to the point. So at this point, I got thousands of you guys uh, waiting to hear what happened to the DoorDash lady. What happened to me? I still get my job. Or do I still got my job? And um, I'm going to just go ahead and get right into all that. Also, I just want to say thank you so much to uh, to anybody that started following me or found my music or is just interested in my day-to-day -day life. Like, that actually, that genuinely means a lot. So, I appreciate that. I just want to say I'm grateful for real. So, yeah, long story short, um, that where that video ended, it, it cut off like 30 seconds before I actually left the building. But... You know, I just wanted to get her confessing on camera, you know, hey, I got the food, which she did. And after that, the video, so the video cut off and I basically just told her, hey, look, um, I know, I guess we're not going to get this solved right here right this second. I said, but you got until the end of the day to get this contract violation figured out. I said, or if I wake up in the morning and it's still there, when I come back tomorrow, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be a fun time. And I said, I understand. And she said, I understand. And uh, that was it. So I walked out. Anyways, days go by, or not days, the day goes by. I wake up in the morning, and that video is probably at 8 million. Um, I go to check my DoorDash app. Definitely don't have a contract violation on there anymore. So she definitely took care of it, but, man, y'all was eating her up in that comment section. For real, it almost made me feel bad for her at some point, but I just know that's going to be a, it's going to be an awkward, awkward uh, little work work environment from here on out because i know for a fact some of her co-workers was in them comment threads i'm not even going to get into all that but god so moral of the story all right well, whatever okay well i mean I you know he got to that point so you think okay he got the contract violation taken away um he's interesting it, show, it kind of shows about social media how things go viral like he felt bad about all the attacks on her and I mean, what do you think, Pedro, in terms of the the the, uh, so, the vitriol? Because eight eight million people, it's not views. I'm sure people watch it yeah. more than once. I mean, I did a video. A lot of people did videos. I mean, I did, I did a is, short. <laughs> TikTok is a place to go, and people, you know, I didn't see that. That's the first time I'm seeing that. Um, okay, I dragged her in my video because I she deserved it. I don't care. I hold no punches. I was like called her Lisa. 
you should probably skip a meal. I was pretty vicious. And I, don't, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't take anything back. I said what I said, because when you do yeah. stupid shit, you get stupid price. You, you take okay? it. You take it. You're, you're taking advantage of someone's livelihood. You, yes. You take, yes. And that's for, really for dangerous. meals that you do not need because you can make a sandwich. Like, I can't. Those kind of people to me, the entitlement, the no, no, no. And to do it at work, I, I, I would fire her if I was her boss. It's probably some terms and conditions of employment. That person's fired immediately because you bring in un- unnecessary drama and confrontation mm-hmm. to a workplace and you're stealing. I mean, stupid. It's Steph. Now, I will say this. I'm going to try to be real quick. Obviously, it could have been a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a husband's or whatever's account. They ordered it and had the wrong address. And then they're waiting at boyfriend or whoever's waiting at home. They don't get the food. They call Dodas. I didn't get my food. And his girlfriend gets it. But at that point, let's say that happens. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt. The girlfriend should have been like, hey, I didn't order this. Yeah. Right? It, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. And then you call, That's you probably, know, and, then you, and yeah. then you're not, you know. You get but, accused of something, you will be re. And if it's unjustified, if someone's going to react to I stole, she knew. Yeah. I'm going to flip out. Like, you, yeah. what? You know, yeah. like, so. Exactly. So she definitely did something. But for me, it's like, my reaction to him, he said he had five kids. How old is that fucking kid? Oh, that, yeah. That was a lie. That he's got lie. five kids. So I no, he think he was just we have to understand one he thing. Was I, enough to get her to say, hey, listen, yes, you're doing this. Yes. this is wrong. Think, I, this is my job. Yeah. I think he, I think obviously that was real. Like somebody, he got a contract violation. I think that he's a rapper. Yes. Yes. He, he, he's like, you know what? I'm going to make some content and get some views off this. And I think that was his main prerogative and i think Possible. that was his main thing um and but he, he didn't blow up yet yet pedro he yeah, still he well, still needs to make some money <laughs> five kids he looks like he's early 20s right no, i don't i don't i don't young. think he has five kids i think yeah that was so i think small. he was just saying that to make her feel bad but hey yeah listen shout out to all the drivers out there that you know have customers try to scam them i don't recommend confronting consumers because clearly you're going to lose your source of income because you'll probably get deactivated so really we- what did you gain? You didn't gain anything, right? You got to well, just we, take we the have... L and keep it pushing. But to all the consumers that try to play these games, y'all some y'all some miserable SOBs, and I wish you nothing but the worst karma, and I hope she got fired. So, Well, we didn't have – we still have more updates ahead. So the last thing we just saw is that he got the contract violation removed, and everything just seems okay, right? Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Well, let's look at the latest TikTok post he has. His name is Alex, and he was deactivated. We received a report that you have created an unsafe environment by using abusive language or <laughs> verbally assaulting another person while engaging with the DoorDash platform. After completing our investigation, we have determined this conduct to be a violation of your independent contractor agreement in the DoorDash deactivation policy. Please review the blah, blah, blah. So, in conclusion... <laughs> I'll tell you this right now, guys. If you confront any customer while you are working on these platforms, you will lose your job. Yep. You will lose your ability, even if you are in the right. Now, Pedro, with this new information, how would you go about Well, I already know how you went about it because you've done many videos. You've already had this happen to you. But tell the people out there. If you if you have your first or what you know you, you've been oh. doing your thing you have the one contract violation yeah you know for sure you hand this person the food mm-hmm. how should they go about it? Uh, we could submit your <laughs> statement to DoorDash because they're going to ask you to say what happened. You could submit it. You could call support if you took a picture or if you have anything to back it up. You could submit that via email, and you forget about it because you can still work with a contract mm-hmm. violation. Don't sweat it. Don't lose. Don't waste your time and energy on it. I've had multiple, like two at one time, was still getting orders. It's just don't overthink it. Just keep it moving. While you have an active contract violation, just make sure you're really crossing your uh, T's and dotting your I's, taking pictures and hand to me customers, taking a picture in the app, saying, hey, I got to take a picture. Even if it doesn't ask for it, take a picture, send it to them in the in-app chat or in-app messaging, and you just keep it pushing. It'll go away after 100 deliveries. Do not let it take too much of your energy. I know it's frustrating. But it, it, why get deactivated just for what, right? It's not really worth it. Um, this this kid would have been able to still make money, and now he can't because he did what he did. Yeah, so Marty says, I've yeah. had two removed contract violations by submitting videos and, and pictures. And I understand 
the issue because like the biggest one which that's why i want to kind of bring back like all the biggest confrontations the main that i'm sure you remember you could tell the person came back i think it was a woman again also the woman that probably didn't need that meal uh i think it was her name is Hunt. went back to say you know i think cvs she was working at cvs or something yep, and yep, said yep. you lied so that i think that's the problem i think especially a lot of us are coming from w2 world and you go and you see the thing on this app saying a violation People probably tend to panic. They think they're losing a source of income. Yeah. You get angry and you're like, I'm going to pull up and do something about it. Oh, yeah. It's not Listen, just a low uh, tip, no tip thing. This is you you are you're t- you're you're taking the ability to earn my earn money away from me. I I I when I first started doing DoorDash, I made a video. I come I I dropped off a subway order for three bucks <clears throat> and immediately got a no customer didn't get what and i handed it to the fucking dude yeah. i was so mad and i got i let my pride and ego get in the way and i was so and i went back to the guy's house knocked on the door he didn't answer and i called the cops i was so mad i was like listen this guy's just you know i, I know right super petty yeah and the cops like get the fuck out of here like and you got real shit to we got real shit to yeah, do. Right, right, right. but i was i was so mad and i wanted vengeance <laughs> yeah but yeah. it was the stupidest thing because it was not in a good neighborhood. This was not a small dude. Potential. If he would have came out and wanted to smoke, I would have had to make a decision, right? Yeah. But I was so mad. But I would never do that again. I don't recommend it. I share that as just a learning lesson. We should not do that. Now, if you do it, you got to weigh the risk, right? Pia yeah. said that they did it and they got $20. Yeah. For me, I just keep it moving. I, I cuss them out in my, ca- in my car, in my head, and I just go on to the next delivery. I don't really care. So yeah. not anymore, at least. Bobby comes with a really good idea. And this is what I – this is my suggestion – Well. Hey, listen, we're not uh, gig advisors. I guess we are, but we're just talking shit right now. Yeah. Bobby says you can you can't confront a customer, just don't post it on TikTok. So this is what this is might be my suggestion. If it's at someone's house, just eat it. Don't don't go back. You don't have no idea who's in that house. That's, that's you that's don't know it, that, what is going to happen. At that point. Yeah. yeah, you you may think there's one guy that you're trying to confront, and then a gang of dudes come and mm-hmm. beat you like pancakes, or beat yep. you like whatever, like a like a drum. You don't know about that, so don't do that in people's homes. Now, office. This would be my approach. I would let me. I would do the whole Karen thing. Let me talk to your manager. Let me talk to a manager. One of your employees. Mm. Has stolen something. Yeah, I'm I'm reporting theft with one of your employees. I need yeah. to talk to someone in charge. And if you deny me, that I'm gonna, I'll figure out what. Because I'm basically saying, I'm I'm saying that one of your employees has stolen something. Yeah, and I need point. to talk to yeah. a manager. Yeah, then I bring it to the manager point, then to see what the customer says. But even then, that's still about you can still get violated. You can still get your stuff deactivated. But that would be my approach. But I will only do that if I had. If I, like, if I already had like really bad luck and have like two contract violations, I'm like, shit, yeah. I maybe have to take some drastic action. Yeah. But probably the best idea is you don't confront anybody. Yeah. Take just take the contract violation. The DoorDash at this point is paying everyone money for everything. They probably just look at it. They, they know people are lying. And I think the best way is just to move on. But I think with him. I think he was probably pissed off. I mean, in the video, he sounds like, yo, this is this is ridiculous. This camera's in this place. How can you tell me that I didn't give you this food? Yeah. And then she looks 100% guilty, 100% that she fucked up and she can't get out of the situation. And it's interesting. He said, if you don't take care of it, I'm going to post it. Or, or I don't know if that was a threat. He said, yeah, yeah. He seemed like it was he definitely kind of threatened her with doing something or coming back. I think he said something in one of the videos where I'm gonna come back or talk, you and know. If like, he and if he says further, that, like that's a problem. That's I a think problem. That's, that might have been why. You know, my question is, okay, so let's say she called DoorDash because he asked her to, and she because he wanted a contract violation taken off. So let's yeah. assume she did that. She called and said, Hey, I actually got the food, my whatever, and then a contract violation comes off. Let's say she does that, right? Right. How is he? Is it like an algorithmic automatic because he confronted and they found out he confronted, regardless of what he says that he gets deactivated? Or is it that she says, well, he's told me these things, he's threatened me. That's why, you know, like I wonder, like, like I think, like, I think, to be honest, I think because the post went viral. I think, you think, that's that, you think they saw it and were like, yeah, we don't want this. Eight yeah. million views. Yeah. It's too many. It's too many views. <laughs> yeah. For him, I think that's the issue. Anytime this stuff is getting posts where other media are picking it up, other content creators are talking about it, 
there are people on DoorDash staff are getting paid to watch TikTok videos. That's not like a bad. That don't sound like a bad of a job. I mean, that's, that's all they're doing. That's what it seems like they're doing. They, they're checking YouTube, and they're, they're mostly checking TikTok. TikTok is such a massive platform that yeah. should be banned soon. I don't know what's everything, going on. Everything goes so quick on TikTok, and it's you can watch a lot in a very short amount of time. Right. Um. I don't feel like it's gonna get banned. No way. No. It's worry banned in one state. What? What I'm, state? I'm not gonna bullshit you, Montana. <laughs> No way, lives I'm, in Montana. I'm not even care. kidding. I'm not even kidding. Bon- really? Montana's the first state. I mean, let me. Pull, I want, I'll pull up real quick. I, it was like random. You know what was, was funny? I watched. I watched some of the um the 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 CEO or president, right? The guy from Singapore or from like, the guy oh, yeah, that like Singapore went in front of gangster. He listen. <laughs> gangster. He made he made the American senators and the American. He made us look really bad. The way he like yeah. how measured he was and his response and. Yeah, it was bad. It was a weak moment for America, in my opinion. Yeah, but they, Singapore do not play with drugs. They, they but yeah, so Montana TikTok ban is the first by any U.S. state. So they're not playing over there, Montana. They probably yeah. don't use much TikTok. They have all that, you know, beautiful like outdoors and not sitting there on their phones. They're probably much happier than us. Um, but they're basically they they passed a bill. Um, Vote 40, 44 to 43. So they didn't necessarily. Uh, yeah, it's pretty wait. close. Yeah. Uh, concerns with TikTok, alleged surveillance, not alleged, it's surveillance from the Chinese government. And Montana is a red state. So mm. it's interesting. But, uh, you know, I think definitely you're right. Just move on. Um, I, I don't think he planned, like, he had, I'm sure he had an idea, like, I'm gonna post this. I'm sure he was on TikTok before this. Yeah, it's but nobody idea. posts anything and thinks you're gonna get 8 million views unless no. you're Mr. Beast. Or you know what I'm saying? That's a crazy you got, amount. You gotta be good. Yeah, you gotta yeah. be a professional at this content stuff. 